Hi, this is Russ McLean, and this is a little tutorial in Mandible 3D. Basically, what this shows, it's for beginners or even old timers, you know, how to get to a nice place where you get the bulbs. Um, we call these bulbs, these round shapes um, on these floors. Um, they endlessly fascinate me. And I, I wanted to have a really simple, you know, for somebody that's just getting into it or is just curious, you know, how they could do, uh, get to this place where uh, you have some bulbs and you can start playing with them. And what's the simplest way to get there? There have been a few other tutorials on how to do this. And I've done, an, I think, another one myself based on another person's great work. But in this one, um, is based on a uh, some formula that was I think originally uh, posted on Mandible 3D on Facebook by Lyle Hatch and then uh, Caleb Larson I hope I'm pronouncing that right she um, did uh, a manipulation on that formula and came up with something that then I took and what I did is I simplified it so that it would be easy to type I try to get the values down just to a real uh, as simple as possible and uh, but did use uh, Caleb's color but Caleb is uh, the master of color so you know for anyone who wants to try to play along with this it's pretty simple first of all open up uh, Mandible 3d and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to formulas and we're going to go to formula one and we're going to uh, put in their amazing box which is here see it's under the uh, 3da amazing box put that in there and try these values 1.5 0 and 1 now formula two here we're going to use folding integer power and that is in this first column and you can slide down here and there it is and you just click on that and the values for this uh, formula will be 2 minus 100 and 1 everything else is default so that's it that's all you have to do there now with that uh, set up you can go over to here to this main rendering window click on preview and click on calculate now your view probably doesn't look like this does it <laughs> but it's probably in the neighborhood so to make it look exactly like this what you need to do is go over here and see this position and do this put in 8 minus 9 0 minus 12 5000 do that I'll give you some time to do that or you just hit the pause okay Oh, yes, and very, very important. It won't work without this. Zoom, 0 0.3. Yes, so you want to do that. Now I'm going to go up here, and you could pause it, uh, the video. But here I'm going to collapse this position menu, and now I'm going to open up the rotation menu. And here are the values you want there is minus 88, minus 0 0.6, and minus four four okay great now the last thing is that you need to make sure that Julia see here's these little tabs over here the internal camera but there's Julia Julia on and this is very important you need to turn it on and by default the X value is one change it to zero and the other key thing here is the uh, W, uh, I guess it's width. I'm not sure actually what that W is for. Uh, but put in there 0 0.325. And uh, bang, if you do that, you click calculate, you're going to be here. Now, what is here? Well, the here is really a fun place to be because what we can do is we can click on this 3D nav up here. Whoa! And this guy comes up <laughs> and there's a lot of things we can do here this is pretty cool stuff uh, I'll just show you a couple things because I'm trying to keep this under well 
probably got like already exceeded five minutes, but you know, we'll go a few minutes more. Um, let's do this. Look down here, fixed zoom and steps. Click that guy because that's going to give us some extra controls that are very helpful. And uh, what can we do here with this fractal? Well, let's see here. Here we have amazing box. Let's let's just play with scale. Holy moly! Look at look at what you can do here with scale. I mean, it's just like crazy stuff, crazy gigs. Okay, and if anything you change here, just click reset. Wow, goes back to that. Let's try minimal R. Hmm, there's some stuff there. I might go somewhere with that. A lot of kind of cool little things there. There's that reset. Let's try fold. Whoa, Nelly. Yes, whoa, Nelly. Might be some something going on in that one. So <laughs> the idea here is once you get to this place in this particular fractal, I mean, you really go to town. And we are, we're only using two uh, formulas, but the second formula, if we click up, click up here, um, this one is not, you know, not, uh, well, you know, who knows what you could do with that, but it's not as versatile as uh, this first formula, Amazing Box. And, of course, you can play with a lot of this, everything. That's the whole idea. It's a playground. And, <laughs> and here's maximum iterations. One of the things I do with fractals is I go way down and see what happens when I, like, give it, like, almost no iterations. And um, sometimes you get some interesting stuff. Like, see here down at the low iterations, we're getting some softness to it, or especially down if I drag it down to, you know, way down here. Uh, not that far down. <laughs> okay, and then you can reset. You go back to 60, which is the uh, default number of iterations. Now, of, of course, once you get to here, then you can have a lot of fun You've got your camera here, the uh, field of view. You've got the far plane uh, hitting F1, F2. I'm going to hit F1 and drop it way down. I don't think it really matters in this particular image. But the other key thing is that you can zoom into this. And you can use this here, this little zoom uh, click here, which is really nice. Uh, you can also use Z. And sometimes there's a problem between using those two we just need to need to play around with a little bit so so here we're, we're in this fantastic fractal uh, let's see I'm gonna zoom in a little bit I mean this is what I do this is my trip this is these are the bulbs that I hang with <laughs> been hanging for a long time okay so that's pretty awesome right one of the other key uh, tips that um, I would like to share with you is that when you're playing here in this, um, in what they call a 3D nav, when you're playing in this window, uh, click this animation uh, frame window. When you click that, it makes a snapshot of where you are. It, it, it can come in handy. I mean, it's not like really a backup system, but it's pretty cool because, like, look, I'm going to move this thing around. I'm going to go over here and look at these bulbs, man. They're just like, whoa, what's happening here? And, um, Let's like zoom into some of this, right? I just used the, the mouse wheel to do that. Great, right? And then here, animation keyframe. You can click the button or hit F, bang. Look, look what it did. There it is. You can do something with that. So that's it. I gave you the, uh, the ultra simple uh, formula, which is this formula one. Um, amazing box which is here amazing box right and it's just those three values that's it everything down here is all default formula two folding integer power that's in this this first one 3d go down here there it is there's that guy great and um, that's it Actually, the key, I think, to this whole thing is this particular value, C multiplier, minus 100. I think that really makes this whole formula work. The formula one, yeah, nothing special there. So yeah, this formula two, um, that minus 100 makes this thing happen. So I hope that's helpful for, for somebody. Um, that's like 10 minutes, it's uh, too long. <laughs> oh well. 
it might help me sometime later. And that's it for this one. Hope it uh, kind of brings some illumination for somebody. <laughs>